along with Ethan and I was at the hospital and um, and then something was happening and uh, you know and I was like in the dream I felt uh, like well I felt like I, I, I never got a chance to share this and that you know um, and as many times as I tried to share this video everything kept getting in the way of it you know and um, so when I woke up in the morning, I thought, you know, I, I really should just kind of share with people and stop worrying. Because, I mean, look, if you're going to judge me, you're going to judge me. But the bottom line is, is it, it might be true. And some of the things that I've shared in the past are true and have happened. And, um, you know, there's a lot of evidence that actually leads to this. So basically what happened was a while ago, um, a colleague that I was working with handed me this piece of paper. And... Um, in the piece of paper, it, it, it just had, uh, he had, he had met somebody that was very, um, that worked with him. And he basically uh, told him about me and what I share. And, and the guy said, look, oh, his name is Jacob. Well, he needs to read this book. It's called The Earth Chronicles. So he wrote this piece of paper and, you know, um, and he handed it to me and I put it in my pocket. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll check it out. And, you know, and, and then life gets in the way and I forgot. Then I got an email from somebody who, uh, who sent me this basically this press release about NASA discovering a, uh, a planet, you know, they call it Planet X or Planet 9 or uh, whatever other planet it was and, you know, and, and that it's somehow perturbing our, you know, our universe. And, and I thought, oh, that's interesting. So I read up on it. I go, wow. And then I found out that there's a whole Sumerian um, mythology based around it and that they call this planet Nibiru and that, um, you know, it's like a uh, dwarf, I guess a dwarf star. I, listen, I'm not an expert into this stuff. I'm not into aliens and any of that. So I, you know, I just thought it was uh, an interesting, uh, an interesting little article. And at the same time, I got an email from uh, my friend Edgar. And uh, he asked me, Jacob, you know, who are the Anunnaki? And I said, oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, so I have these three random events that happen in one day. The next day, I wake up after having a strange dream, um, and uh, I go to work, and I have like an hour to, to kill, and so I spend it in prayer, and um, as I'm praying, I say, you know, Lord, what is it that I need to know? What is it that I need to share? And as I'm praying, I reach into my pockets, just kind of like thinking, and I feel that piece of paper, and I pull it out, and it says, the Earth Chronicles. And I think, oh, wow, that's interesting. That's, maybe this is it. Maybe this is what I need to look into. And I find out that the Earth Chronicles is a book about an alien race called the Anunnaki and a planet called Nibiru. So I thought, that's a lot of coincidence. And it got, got that like feeling that, like, oh, my goodness, am I being pointed in a direction where I should share something like this? Um, well, one thing leads to another. And... Uh, I call a friend and I start talking to him about it and I tell him what's going on and and, uh, and then you know he says oh my goodness I'm uh, uh, I'm really into this and he explains more of it to me and then I think to myself and I go wait a minute hang on a second my friend Bob he wrote a book um, Athalon and it's it's a book about an alien race um, that somehow you know I guess invades Earth and he modeled one of the characters like one of the lead characters on me um, Noah Israel basically a guy who does little videos and. You know, inspiring little words, and and so I had this like strange feeling, like, oh my goodness, are you telling me that possibly <laughs> that this book is about the Anunnaki and Nibiru, and you know, and I'm smack dab in the middle of it? Well, long story short, um, that was the case. I called Bob up, and he told me all about it, and I was like, what what I do? What do I do? You know, when I started worrying about, you know, the refugees and I started worrying about world war and I started worrying about climate change and I started telling people that I had a feeling that these things were going to happen, you know, that uh, we were going to start World War III back in September 15th. Everybody made fun of me and walked away. Like, what am I going to do? You know, my book's coming out in June. What am I supposed to start t telling people that, you know, I feel like I should be talking about this because I don't even believe in this stuff. So I've kind of like, you know, I kept it in prayer and, um, and I said, well, Lord, you know, if you want me to do something. And when I say Lord, I mean, you know, that inspiration that's within, you know, I believe that everything's connected. I said, well, if you want me to share something, you have to really, you're going to have to give me, uh, you're going to have to give me the heads up. And so, uh, and last night I have, um, a terrible dream where I'm at the emergency room, a building much like this, which is really disturbing. And, um, we're there for Ethan. And in the dream, 
<laughs> basically like you know I, we start seeing meteors flying and um man and it was like almost like uh it looked like scary times were coming because of this and um but but that wasn't really the dream i'm not saying that that's going to happen the, the point of the dream was that in the dream i felt like if i had shared about it if i had just you know warned people if i had just said look this is what i'm thinking about that maybe perhaps i don't know i know it's as crazy as it sounds you know i mean like um jonah you know when he when he didn't want to share he didn't want to say you know oh hey i'm gonna talk about aliens now i don't even believe in aliens i'm supposed to tell you about that so long story short, I had this terrible dream and uh, that Ethan was in the hospital and there I was with Danielle and, um, and then this all happened. And um, the whole point of the dream was that I was too scared to basically stand up and not care what people think. So the long story short, way too late for that I know, because I had like dream after dream, like three of these dreams last night about this. So I'm sharing this video with you to tell you that this is what's been going on in my heart. I don't know if it means anything, but we were out at uh, we were out at a restaurant, and um, well, Ethan hasn't gone to the bathroom in the last couple of days. You know, he has a little bit of issue with uh, constipation, and um, well, you know, I have Crohn's disease, so I'm I'm very familiar with the stomach issues, and he started throwing up, and that's not good because you know, God forbid if there's a blockage. But you know, hopefully he's just you know he drank a little strawberry, um, virgin strawberry daiquiri, maybe it just didn't settle well. We'll get maybe a suppository and he'll be done. But the bottom line is, here I am. <laughs> you know, with storm clouds that look like hail, like in the dream, hail and uh, and uh, a couple of meteorites, and uh, and here I am at the emergency room. So, you know, um, think what you want, but I've done my part. You know, look into this thing because I'll tell you something. You know, you can go to the 